In this video, we're going to look at capture recapture. Capture recapture is a really useful technique that can be used to estimate the total population um, in an area. So it's, it's quite often used by scientists who want to work out how many of a particular animal live in a certain area. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to work out how many squirrels lived in a wood. I would go and visit that wood, and I would capture as many squirrels as I can, obviously humanely, and I would tag them, perhaps with a little bit of plastic around their leg or something like that. And then what I would do is I would then release all the squirrels back into the wood, and I would go back again after a certain amount of time, maybe the next day or next week, and I would capture as many as I could. I would make a note of how many I've caught on the second visit, and I would see how many of those have been tagged previously, so in other words, how many I'm recapturing. And I would use that proportion, so the number that I've captured previously over the total number that I've caught on the second visit, and I will use that to work out an estimation of the population by using this formula. And the formula is the total that you've marked, so in other words, how many you've caught and tagged in the first occasion, over the estimate of the population will equal the number that you've recaptured over the total number that you've caught in the second visit. And you can use that uh, formula to estimate the total population. Sometimes you'll see this formula rearranged, so let's make n the subject. So if we want to make n the subject, we'll times both sides of the equation by n. So times in both sides will give us m equals um, rn over t. We're going to times both sides by t because again we want to make n the subject. So mt equals r n and divide them both sides by r will give us mt over r equals n. In other words, the total population is equal to the total marked on the first visit multiplied by the total popula uh, total capture on the second visit and divided that by the number that you have recaptured. And again, that's just a way of estimating the total population. Now again, all that might seem a bit abstract to you. So what I'm gonna do is show you an example um, that I actually carried out whenever I was in school myself. And that was to work out how many wood lice lived in a greenhouse. And um, I'm gonna show you some pictures of wood lice here. They're not real, so if you're squeamish, don't worry about it. Okay, so um, again, I've just put the formula here for our own reference, and I'm just gonna talk you through what we done in school whenever we were working out how many, or working out an estimate of how many wood lice were in this greenhouse. So we're going to go to a uh, greenhouse and we're going to mark as many different uh, wood lice as possible using a white pen, non-toxic obviously, it'll magically disappear after a couple of days so it's fine. So what we're going to do is we're just going to mark the wood lice like so and that'll mean that whenever we go back on the second occasion we'll know which ones we've caught previously. And let's just say for instance we've caught 80 of those on the first visit. So that means that our formula, our uh, total marked will be 80, we've marked 80 wood lice all together. So Let's just put an 80 in there. Then we go back a couple of days later. Well, better be a day or two because as we know, the white paint or white mark will disappear. And we're going to capture as many as we can. So we've captured loads of them. Some of them will be marked. So ones that we've caught previously. Obviously, these three we've caught these previously. But these two we didn't catch previously because they haven't got the white mark. And we're going to look at how many we've caught on that second visit. And we're going to see how many were already caught before, or how many have been uh, recaptured, I suppose. So we've got here 50 caught. So we've caught 50 on the second visit. So the total for the second visit is going to be 50. And the previously marked, well, previously marked, we've caught 32 that have got the white dots on them. So recaught, recaptured, will be equal to 32. Now, by using this formula, we can now work out n, an estimation of the population. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by n. So that will give us 80 equals 32n over 50. Multiply both sides by 50. So that will give us 4,000 equals 32n. And divide both sides by 32. So that would give us 4,000 divided by 32 equals 125. So n equals 125. So the capture recapture technique gives us an estimation of the population of wood lice in the greenhouse to be 125. Okay, so that's the technique. That's how we do it. Let's have a look at a typical question now. So a group of students want to estimate the number of fish that live in a pond. They catch 45 fish and tag them. They return the 45 fish to the pond. The next day they catch 60 fish. And of those 60 fish, 18 are tagged estimate the, uh, the number of fish that live in the pond. Okay, so first of all, we know that the 45 over the total population will equal the 18 tagged over the 60 fish caught on the second visit. So that's the formula. So 45, the total that they caught on the first occasion, or the number that's tagged or marked over the population, 
will equal the proportion of the second visit that are tagged. So in other words, 18 out of the 60. Now what we're going to do is to multiply both sides of the equation by n. So 45 equals 18n over 60. Multiply both sides by 60. So 45 times 60 is equal to 2700 equals 18n. Now taking that 18n equals 2700, we can now just divide by 18. So divide that by 18 and we get that n, the estimate of how many fish that live in the pond is equal to 150. And that's it. So the capture rec uh, recapture technique um, is quite straightforward if you just consider the proportions. Otherwise, you can uh, learn the formula if you want to. And um, it's really useful to work out an estimate of how many animals or species might live in a particular area.